Q's Orange. Their head coach, John Desco, joined now by Rob. All right, Dave. Coach Desco, you guys dominated possession in that first quarter, only came away with a couple of goals, and then had a hard time getting it back for a while. What do you have to do to get this offense on track? Well, that's just it. I think uh, we had some good possessions earlier. The goalie made some saves that we really didn't expect. And now we've got to get possessions at our end of the field. Got to get comfortable there again and start getting our offense going. Your goalkeeper only had a couple of saves there on six goals. How concerned are you about the way he's seeing the ball right now? Well, I'm not. You know, they had two goals uh, coming from defense to offense with their short sticks, and they got a goal on a man-up situation. And actually, they were two men up at the time. And the man down's been playing pretty well. The defense has been doing okay. Okay, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dave, back to you. Rob, Coach, thanks. He's had a lot of confidence in his freshman goalie, John Galloway, all year. It's halftime, 6-3 score. We'll join Scott Reese in the NCAA studio for the Warrior Lacrosse Halftime Report after this. You're watching the NCAA Lacrosse Championship, presented on ESPN by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. 30 minutes complete, Gillette Stadium, Foxborough, Massachusetts. First of two national semifinals Virginia doubles up the orange. UVA has a 3-2 lead all time in semifinal games head to head with Syracuse. Welcome back, Dave and Quint. Dominant performance by Syracuse early. The field tilted in their direction in terms of possession time, but Bud Petit, the goalie for Virginia, turned the game around, then his offense took advantage. Yeah, when you think about that first quarter, Syracuse should have had an advantage, but they couldn't find the back of the net. Right now, they're only shooting 15%. Virginia shooting 35%, and hence the difference in the score. Impressive start for UVA. Got it going with a Shamel Bratton goal. Syracuse rebounded with one from Mike Lavelle. That's really been all Cavaliers. The freshman sticks the corner. Anytime you can score on your first shot, it should count double. Mike Lavelle, question mark move, ties it up at one apiece. Petit then took over. Kick save, matches up stick on stick. Inside save to his off stick side. And the fifth year senior has been spectacular. Virginia would score five straight. Will Barrow in transition, ties it up at two apiece. And the Cavalier fans on their feet. Max Popper would score, Danny Gladding would score, Brian Carroll on the EMO, and then Garrett Billings. Virginia has gotten production from six different offensive players, and they have been on target. Syracuse had a 22-minute drought, finally snapped by Kenny Nims with less than a minute to go. Back down to Rob, joined by Dom Starzer. All right, Coach Starzer just joins me here. Coach, what did you have to say to these guys at halftime? I think there's a lot more lacrosse to play. This is a tremendous lacrosse team, Syracuse. You know they're going to come at us in the second half. we got to play better. we got to play smarter. we got to play harder. Holding the Syracuse team to three goals in the first half, that's not a small feat. What was the key? I thought we were very disciplined. Bud did a nice job in the goal. I thought we were very disciplined on defense. We're clearly going to have to maintain that posture in the second half. Okay, Coach, thank you. Dave, back up to you. Rob and Coach, thanks. The Bud Petit fan club, there you see that shirt. <laughs> they are rooting on the fifth-year grad student goalie. And we're underway, second half. From the home of the New England Patriots. This weekend, it's all about the lax. Syracuse, the three seed in the visiting orange. Here's Matt Abbott, right-hand cradle control. And Virginia, the second-seeded Cavaliers. Home whites here trying to hang on. Syracuse done pretty well when facing a halftime deficit, as they do now. Big key to me. When it's got to be the play. This guy, number 44 in orange, Stephen Brooks in the second half. I agree. Stephen Brooks, 0 of 3 from the field, as is Dan Hardy. Their two best. Midfield scores are 0 of 6 right now. And there's some of the numbers. Look at the difference. Ground ball totals for Syracuse not having an impact. They are just off target with their shots. Brooke trying to get free. Change all that. Good. Trail check from behind. Will Barrow stripped him clean. Anyone's ball now. Rugby tiles style scrum for it. Loftus trying to come loose. Ball still on the ground. Who's going to get it? Good play by Timms. Clawson trying to pluck it loose from midair. And Mike Timms for Virginia comes away with it. Here comes the Cavalier clear try. How about Timms? Six foot five, Virginia Beach. Didn't start playing lacrosse until he was in middle school, an excellent high school basketball player. And that is a key ground ball. He's got that great range. He's like the stork, Ted Hendricks. Six five plus six feet of defensive stick. That's right, an all-time great That's defensive end. Those Raiders teams. Big one. Big one. Big he was something to watch. Has a trophy named after him now. Top D end in the nation. There's one football every year. 
Cavaliers on the attack, half field offense here. Double up the Cutes. Lomity trying to increase the lead. And taking over is quite a leader, especially with the Brattons on that midfield line. Rebeer can't pull the trigger. Sid Smith all over his stick. Good play by the long stick from Six Nations, Ontario. Love the defense by Smith. He sits down, gets good foot movement, and then uses his stick to get underneath the elbow and low glove of Rubio. Gorgeous defense by Smith. Lifting is very impactful. A lot of times, it's better than actually slashing, Dave. Watch you go! Jamel Brett had the ice-breaking goal here in the national semifinal. Duke and Hopkins await. Have a game for you here on ESPN2. Carroll's got one already. Crossfield pass, shot, score! Gladding! And the Cavalier roll continues. Big goal considering the score. Syracuse, excellent double team on the near side. Horrendous second slide on the back side. No communication. You feel bad for a guy like John Galloway when he's got to stare down Daddy, Danny Gladding from six yards. Gladding's not going to miss that. Great pass. Carroll to Gladding, but poor communication defensively. Ground ball key here. Matt Abbott, Syracuse, trying to hey! grab it. Will get possession for the Orange. Danny Gladding's big day continues. He's 2-1 and one for three. And Syracuse in desperate need of a run here. Nation's second leading scoring team. Back right, clamps back right. on by Virginia. They're winning face-off, but getting no goals back off face-off transition. There are no fast back breaks right. for the Syracuse Orange team, a program back that back prides back. itself on running the full length of the field. They have been no factor in transition, and when they've high, had high percentage shots, Dave, but Petit's had the answer. You heard what John Desco said with Rob Simulcare heading into the halftime locker room. Just got to get more comfortable in the half field offense. And here's a good example. Had great shots early, a barrage against Bud Petit. Another check from behind. Ball loose, Clawson. Grabs it for the Cavaliers. Here comes Kelly. Being tracked down the ride by Kenny Nims. Nifty flip pass, Nizelik at midfield. Offside call. Now officials will meet. One official on the near side did have Virginia offside. Where are they? Three? Five was back. Wherever it is, go back here, though. Wherever it is, whoever gets it, go back here. Okay, officials meet. You can hear it. No offsides, and Virginia has it. I love the communication. I love the fact that Kevin O'Leary and Tom Holan met middle of the field, discussed it over. They make the right call, and we move on. So much of officiating is communicating with both the coaches, the athletes, and one another. Great to have our on-field officials, Mike for sound day. Have them all weekend long. Gladding, watched by Guadagnolo. Told you Kyle's story, his brother tragically killed in a motorcycle accident this past week, just outside his home. And Elbridge, New York, that's a small community just west of Syracuse. Team wearing AG stickers on their helmets for Aaron. Kyle's younger brother Tom is a defenseman on the Syracuse team. Their other brother plays for Jordan Elbridge High School still, and the stickers went to the high school team as well. Billings, over the shoulder shot. Guadagnolo, loose change, big hit behind the cage. Here comes Galloway. Can the Orange run? Outlet Carroza on the bounce. Here he goes. Transfer from Delaware. Has some speed. And he'll try to bring in the offensive end. Tracked down by Ramel Bratton. Good play by the speedy freshman. We're going. I love the outlet pass by Galloway. And then, as you said, Dave, Bratton makes a big play there to beat his man back into the hole and stop the transitional attack. Will Dan Hardy, big number 22 for Syracuse, get it going. Had a hat trick against Notre Dame last week. Big goals late in the fourth quarter. There you see the numbers. Syracuse in a real slump. This is shocking to see only three goals on the board for the Orange. This point of the game. Loftus has one of the three tallies for Syracuse, along with Mike Lavelle and Kenny Nibbs. That's it. The Syracuse team last week that ran into a red-hot Joey Kemp with Notre Dame. Potential first-team All-American netminder for Kevin Corrigan. He was terrific. 
Very similar in terms of the start of the game. Lavelle spinning. Try to find Loftus instead. Virginia sticks are everywhere. Shutting down passing lanes. They anticipate so well. Kelly had it knocked aside by Brooks. Desperate pass. Here's Clawson. 20 seconds to get it across the line. They'll do it. Another 10 to get it into the box. They'll do that too with the speed of Ramel Bratton. Face dodge. Shot score! Ramel Bratton. He and his twin brother, Shamel, goals today. Cavaliers up in a big one. I tell you what made this play, aside from Ramel Bratton, the quickness that he has, is this clear. Bratton carries in. This is just a little one-on-one -on -one with space, fake to the left. What I like about that move, David, he works himself back to the middle of the field where the goal is nice and big. Too often you see players Satisfied oh, with taking wing shots, severe angled shots, where the goal is not six foot wide by six foot tall. There's a freshman, Joel White, charging in to the left of Petit. It's clear Cortland High School, South of Syracuse, was all as an offensive midfielder, but he was so good in fall ball practice with the pole, the long stick, defensive midfield, took that spot. Abbott passing behind the cage. Here's Nim. Syracuse in desperate need of a run here. Parrott can't handle it. Top of the box, anyone's ball if it gets the midfield. Pat Parrott does regain. We saw Pat yesterday after the team's practice. Quite energetic as usual. Optimistic that Syracuse would play well today. A shot is way off cage, though. Trying to join his brother, Bill, with two NCAA titles and get a third ring into the Parrott household on Long Island. Yeah, I think Syracuse right now. Abbott, post. Struggling with the team speed of Virginia on the defensive end. This is a Syracuse team. Yeah, they won 14 games, but they played some methodical type ball games. Loyola, Princeton, Cornell, Rutgers, Albany, UMass, Colgate. Those teams don't have the team speed that Virginia has. Lavelle trying to get free. Team's leading scorer. Here's their captain from just outside Albany. Neighbors with Katie Rowan. He plays on the Syracuse women's team. They made the national championship weekend. Lost to Northwestern, the three-time defending champs, last night at Towson. Fight it, fight it, Bucky they grew up about two houses Please. down from each other in the Albany area. Uh, close friends, calls, text messages, wishing each other luck at their respective championship weekends. It's over for the Orange women, Gary Gates' team. The Orange men trying to hang on here. Not easy against a very good Virginia squad. No other freshman jumps to the shot, missed the target again, backed up by Nims. This is a Virginia defense playing their best right now. Gave up double digits a bunch of times this year. Stony Brook, Syracuse, Princeton, Towson, North Carolina, of course, Duke. They have dug in in the playoffs and played wonderful defense for Dom Starge against UMBC and last week against Maryland. Well, if you look back, this year, Quint Syracuse did face a four-goal deficit to Johns Hopkins to rally to win. Largest amount of goals they were behind and still won this year. Abbott, short side scores. Big goal, Syracuse. Exactly what the Orange needed. Matt Abbott's got a skill set right out of the 1970s. Awesome in the clearing game. Awesome on wings of face-offs. Terrific defender. And then he's got the skills, little pump fake, gets the inside position and converts. Lavelle finds him on the backside, just gives himself enough of an angle to scoot that one past Petit. Dad Tom, grandfather Larry, both played at Syracuse. Whoa. Dad Tom now prominent official Division I men's lacrosse. <laughs> Violation against Brennan. Here comes Virginia again. Garrett Ince gets the faceoff win in the stat book and Rubier handles. You talk to college coaches about Matt Abbott and you watch tape on Syracuse and he just jumps off the screen at you. He's all over the field, a, a true old school midfielder. Guys you used to play 48 out of 60 minutes. Like a human clear. <laughs> he just gets it and clears himself. He is fast. One of the quickest orange team members, along with Javon Miller, runs about a 4-4-40, he told us yesterday, from Christian Brothers Academy in Syracuse. Miller, a freshman midfielder for the Orange, was a big time college football recruit as a running back. Ohio State, Florida, others interested. Shot, score again, Virginia from the wing. Not much Galloway can do about that. Peter Lomity, first of the day for the fifth year. 
A transfer from Duke. It is not only the Duke Blue Devils who have benefited from the NCAA's decision to grant the fifth year. Virginia has also. Simple move. Alley dodge right here. Carroza overplays the left hand, loses an edge, wipes out. No slide is there. Turn and rake. Danny Brendan won the faceoff, looking for his first ever point as a Syracuse player. He's a fifth year senior who left school. Some academic issues has come back. Actually was on the 04 championship team for Syracuse. But he missed the target there. And Lomity, who has been so bothered by hip troubles, Dom Starja told us this week, he hasn't practiced in a couple of weeks since the ACC tournament. He's just played in games, but he looks explosive there. Big shot and a goal for Virginia. And widen the lead again. Dave, for InsideLacrosse.com, video preview I did this week nice mentioned out. Virginia's midfield scoring. Go Where's it been Red, in the two games go. that we covered in the playoffs? Red, Today go. they've delivered. Both Brattons have scored. Barrow, Pomper, Carroll, Lomady. They've all been there. Steven Brooks, 44 in orange, nothing doing. Hardy, nothing. Shut down and shut out by the effective Virginia defense. They have smothered the nation's second leading scoring offense. Brooks left hand cradle. Top of the box, trying to get free for something. Nims. Lavelle, goal line extended. Watched by Clausen. Spin, shoot, scores. The two year captain. Trying to get something going in the right direction for the Orange. 9-5. Next Wednesday, Major League Lacrosse draft on ESPNU. Mike Lavelle's going to be a guy who goes in the top five. Love this move. Let it roll a bit here. Watch how Lavelle pushes up against Clawson left-handed. And he'll turn right there and gives himself an angle. Damn. The key to that dodge, if you're a young player, is drive your man at least five yards north of the goal line. That way, when you turn towards the inside, you have an angle to work with. Lavelle, two and two for four points. He's been the offensive star today for Syracuse. 56 straight games with at least a point for Mike Lavelle. The all-time Syracuse record, owned by John Zalberti, who scored in 60 straight games. But will that be enough is the question. Glad he's been Fabulous today for Virginia again. Here is Brian Carroll. Broke his left hand, latter stages of the season. And Dom Sturgeon said he played with a flexible cast under his left glove. Took away a lot of heat on a left-handed shot. He was a right-handed shooter. Carroll does have one. Gladding two and one for three has been the big star. From his knees, Lomini got it to Shamel Brown. Here's Rubio, shutout so far. Penalty flag flies, slow whistle call coming against Syracuse. Revere goal line extended, watched by Sid Smith. Orange will be down a man when the shot, the pass goes out of bounds, or Syracuse gets a touch up here. Flag down! Meantime, with a flag down, Virginia will take its time, knowing they've got the six on five upcoming. Give me some sort of off ball interference or checking. You're not allowed to make contact with your opponent if he doesn't have the ball or if you're not Come within five yards of the ball. Keep it in! Keep it in! The officials with stall warning. They've got to keep it inside the white lines of the box. If it's out, then the EMO will start. Extra man opportunity Keep it in! for the Cavaliers. Here's Lomity. Virginia's shown the ability to play slow today. They can play your slow down game. Can they play fast if they have to meet a team like Duke in the national finals? Lomity. Goal line extended, spin, shoots. Galloway shut the door, and there's the touch up now. We'll get the penalty hey, call. Three, five. Three, five, yeah. And you still got to keep it in. Yeah, you want it? Yes. All right. I'm not, sorry, don't. 35, 35 orange. Right, right. right. Uh, interference. Have, uh, 30, 30 seconds. Interference. 30 second technical 30, right? foul called. Sean McGonigal, the junior from white, white. just outside San Diego. Hey, coach, you knocked the stick out of his hand. We're coming to you from Gillette Stadium. It's the NCAA Lacrosse semifinal presented on ESPN by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Dave Quint, Rob, our entire crew. First of two national semifinals today. Duke and Hopkins to follow here on ESPN2. The championship game on ESPN HD, 1 o'clock Eastern on Memorial Day. They'll crown a new champion.
Dave, interesting wrinkle, the keep it in call, the stalling call actually carries over. Virginia must keep this ball in that offensive box. Six on five across, a few more seconds. Gill plays on the extra man. Billings, pass in front, Gavin Gill. Glad it. top of the box, good spin move. Now the swim, got to keep in the box. A little bit of a challenge with the extra man here for UVA. Penalty clears, back to six aside. Amidon streaks back on the field. Here's Billings with it. Backs off the freshman from Lafayette, New York. Gary Billings, Langley, British Columbia, Canada. One of the top marksmen in Division I lacrosse. Ball, ball. Left hand cradle. Billings, there's the slide, the double team. Brady came over to him, but he grounds the pass over to Rubio. Carroll, good face dodge move, gets free. Gladding, dodging top of the box. Lomney, scored the last Virginia goal. Will he face his former teammates in the championship game? We'll find out. Nice defense by Syracuse. This is not the Syracuse defense of old where they overpressure the ball. Gill, save Galloway. Clinging to the post, good job by the freshman there. Here's Abbott. And we talked about him being the human clear because of the good speed, but good ride. Rubier, swim move, got by Gladding's check. There he goes, Matt Abbott. That's what we meant. Offensive end, good shot, score! Matt Abbott, coast to coast, can you believe that kid? What a play! He'll clear it, he'll shoot, he'll score. He'll park cars, he'll sell popcorn, he does it all. Rubior, who rides as hard as he shoots. Abbott swims past him. The defense is hesitant to pick him up. Boom! You don't see a lot of that howitzer shot. Devon Miller overruns. Fellow freshman Joel White trying to come up with a ground ball. Who's going to get it? About a minute to go here, and a failure advance for Syracuse. Just had 10 seconds to get into the box. Couldn't do that. Here comes Mike Thompson. Ball given back to Virginia. So Abbott, two here in the third quarter. Easy, easy. We're rolling down under 50 ticks to go in our third. Uh, four 15-minute quarters. White on the crisscross. Nearly freight train Danny Gladding. Joel White will be a beast by the time his time at Syracuse is done. He's only been playing that long stick position for three or four months. His speed, he'll be a tremendous force, Dave. On the under-19 Team USA World Championship squad, they're playing this year in British Columbia, Canada. Shot, hit Guadagnolo, final moments of the quarter. Ripped toward the cage by Ruby or Syracuse, a clear, but a wild pass downfield is errant, and the Cavaliers get it right back. Sid Smith can't connect on one of those long outlets he's been known for. UVA a bit sloppy themselves. Syracuse on the ride. And that'll do it. Three quarters complete from Foxborough. Which team will advance on to Monday's championship game? One team makes the title game. One team goes home. Mike Lavelle today has made a living. This inside roll right there creates the space as he dodges above the goal line extended by about five or more yards. That way when he inside rolls, Dave, he has an angle. Beautiful, beautiful textbook move by Lavelle. What I like about that move also, low risk, worst case scenario, Lavelle doesn't have to shoot that if he doesn't like what he sees. And very tough for the defense to double team that inside roll move. Ball loose. Off the face off. Grab by Nims. Things unsettled. Syracuse trying to cash in. The one timer said just why. Greg Narosky on the doorstep didn't get a clean handle in his cross on the pass and couldn't redirect quickly enough. And a trickle off target. Here comes Virginia on a clear. That would have been a big goal. The T is hit. One into there by Narosky. Carroll. 
Throws a piece of him. Here comes Virginia now. Clear complete. Now set the half field offense. Starting the fourth quarter up by three. What a move! Billings goes high. Blisters it past the reach of Galloway. 10 6. Changing the level of your shot. Billings drops his hands down low. Ball ends up top, right under the post. Degree, degree of difficulty there, Dave, an eight. Execution, a 10. Gorgeous shot. You see the reaction from the goaltender? He drops just a bit to mirror the...